Hello, hello, and good morning, friends. It is Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be such a fun video because we are going to go over all of the fun things and items that we have purchased to decorate for the spring and Easter season. I'm so excited to show you guys all of the fun finds that I've been collecting over the past month, I want to say, um, just because I really found some cute things from various stores. So can't wait to show you guys all of those. But before we get started, I wanted to thank all of you guys for um, being resilient with me and kind of just accepting the fact that I uploaded a short this week instead of a full long video because I, as we all know, I am in a full-time school program, a full-time doctorate program, and I had quite a bit of assignments to get done this week. So I was going to film this video a little bit earlier in the week, but I was just so overwhelmed with all of the school assignments that I had to get done. So thank you guys so much for remaining resilient and letting me film this video when I was in a much better, much better mental place. So I have nothing to do other than film this haul for you guys today and I could not be more excited. So this video is going to be a long one. Please grab a snack. Please grab a beverage. I have my Diet Dr. Pepper here. We are ready to go. Oh, look, I'm a little shamrock straw. So, so cute. So let's go ahead and get started with all of the fun spring and Easter decor finds that we found this month. So the first store that I want to go over with you guys is World Market. World Market is one of my favorite stores to shop at, whether it be a regular kind of <laughs> regular home decor or seasonal decor. I love shopping at World Market and I'm so lucky to be near one of those stores. So maybe I'm lucky, but my bank account isn't lucky because I I put down, I put it down, put it down in World Market. We're just putting that out there. So let's go ahead and get started on what I got from World Market. And the majority of the things that I purchased here were linens and I found some really cute ones. So let's see. But before I get into the linens, like the napkins and the dish towels, I found this really sweet banner. Oh, the wrong side. This banner, it says Be Hoppy. How cute is that? It's just really, I love the color of this felt, these felt letters. So fun, hopefully. Hopefully they're all stringed together on like that um, XOXO banner that we bought for Valentine's Day, but I'm really happy for that. And I'm hoping to string it along the mirror just like I did for Valentine's Day as well. So very happy with this purchase. They had so many fun garlands, so it was hard to narrow it down, but I decided to go with the Be Hoppy one. So if it's too long to go on the mirror, we'll find somewhere else to put it. But in the meantime, we won't have to worry about that until we actually decorate, which I do plan on decorating for spring when, ironically, when I'm on my spring break for school, again, just so I can enjoy it. I really love decorating with you guys. So having that nice filming process while I'm on a break from school, that will just really elevate it, I feel, because I won't have to be worrying about any other um, commitments during that time. But regardless, look at these fun napkins that I purchased. These are so cute. They're from World Market um, as well. And they're they're just so cute. The fun stripes, they really resemble um, spring and Easter to me. More so Easter, but I really like the look of these guys. And then to go on top or to layer, I found these more subtle napkins that have little butterflies on them. Now, how precious is that? It's pretty precious. So I'll have to show you guys something that I bought from Michaels to tie all of this stuff together, but I really like the look of these napkins. Um, I think they were really cute. And again, I bought these from World Market. And then the last thing that I got from World Market were dish towels. And I got this guy. It's so cute. I love the color of these guys. And then it's just more of a rustic feel from the other napkins. I feel like it's the same color palette. Um, and then it has the fringe on the bottom, which I really like, or the tassels. And then on top of it, I love this little towel. It's so cute. The florals and the bumblebees, so precious. So I'm gonna put this, um, or put these guys on top of my stove. Or not on top of my stove, because I don't plan on cooking them for dinner, but I'm gonna be putting them on the little oven, uh, like oven rack or oven bar. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, love these. Isn't this, the, that's just so cute. I love it. Again, from World Market, um, really like those. 
So I think the next store we can go ahead and look at is Target. And Target was the absolute last store that I went to because Target is actually not even in close proximity to where I live. It's about 30 minutes down the road. And then Hobby Lobby is an hour. So World Market is right down the street um, as well as Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So I tend to go to those stores um, more frequently but we'll go ahead and see what I got from Target. And it was quite a bit, but honestly, in their bullseye section this season, the three to $5 section, they really put it down this year. I loved everything and it was really hard not to buy everything, especially, especially because it was my last store that I went to. So I already had accumulated things and I didn't want to go overboard, but let's be honest, I still did. So one of the first things that I bought from Target this year was this really cute bunny. Look how cute this is. So I'm planning on putting this on top of my coffee table or maybe as a centerpiece on my round table with, with other things surrounding it, but I really like the look of this. I have multiple baskets in um, this kind of style. You can, this was only about $3, I wanna say, or $5 from Target. It's obviously a styrofoam bunny wrapped in some sort of ribbon, um, but I really like the look of this guy. So I can't wait to find a home for it when we decorate together. And then going off of that, I purchased two plates from Target. These two little blue guys. I really like the look of these. They're like a gray blue. Actually, they kind of look like an eyeball. <laughs> Not the comparison, but very cute. They're very fun charger plates. So I was thinking about lining it with just a regular white plate and then having those napkins. So having this plate and the napkins just really um, speak for the table. I thought that would be really fun, but who knows? We'll put it together, see if we like it. But that's the kind of the vision that I have in my head. And then also at Target, I got this fun little charcuterie board. It's in the shape of a bunny. How fun. Only $5. I bought something similar like this for Valentine's Day in the shape of a heart and I really, really liked it because I love presenting. I just love putting food on fun shaped boards. So whenever Joey comes home from just a regular day and we're just having spaghetti or something, I'll cut the bread up really silly and just place it on this bunny board. But So I definitely utilize these, but they are great um, decor pieces as well, especially I really like the wood. It complements a lot of the things that I already have in my kitchen. So I'm excited to see how this guy looks. But to be honest, I found something that might be a little bit cuter to put in my kitchen and I can't wait to show you guys that when we get to the Michaels section. Another thing that I got from Target is this little egg crate. I really like how this look. I think they had these in a couple of different colors. If I remember correctly, this was $3. And what you do is you place your eggs in here and I think you can use this legitimately as placing eggs in here. But what I'm gonna do is Joey and I this year, we are not going to dip eggs. We are gonna be painting wooden ones. So I thought it'd be really fun to display all of the fun wooden eggs that we painted together. Um, so this will be displayed either on my TV console or a shelf. We'll find a place for it, but I really, really liked the idea of having a place to display the eggs that Joey and I paint together. Okay, and the last thing that I purchased from Target is this really fun serving board. It has cute carrots on it. I really like the muted tones of the colors um, on the serving platter. I think it would look so cute on either my exposed shelving or again in my kitchen. Regardless, I love the look of this and it was only $5 as well. The, I'm telling you guys, the three to $5 section at Target this year was just really serving. <laughs> okay, but I think that's it from Target. So let's go ahead and knock out Michael's just because I alluded to it earlier. Oh wait, before we go to Michael's, I forgot I had a few things left that I wanna show you guys from Target. This is the cutest little honey bear pot that I've seen. It comes with the little, um, the honey spoon with it. It's just so precious. And um, I use honey in my coffee, especially in the spring and summer months when it gets a little bit warmer outside. I feel, I really associate honey with being a summertime um, flavor for me so I was really pleased with this and I think it was only five dollars as well so it looks really cute on my shelf I'll have it out year-round probably but I was just really happy with this find 
And then I got a few bunnies at Target, um, other than that bunny that I showed you in the beginning. But I got these little guys. Don't they resemble chocolate bunnies to you guys? I don't know if they're supposed to or not, but they really resemble chocolate bunnies to me. So I really like how these guys look. I love the brass copper tones of it. And I think it would look really, really elegant on top of my bar cart, um, but we'll see. Or um, on top of my TV console, because my TV console is black with um, the same color um, knobs on the drawers. So I think they would look really good there. But we will see, we will see. And then again in the dollar spot, I just picked up some cups. I really like these guys. I purchased something similar to this near Christmas time. They were green parfait glasses and I really like these blue ones that are detailed for the spring and summertime. So I purchased two packs of these which come with two pieces in them. So I got a total of four cups for $10. And then the last thing that I purchased from Target is you guys all know that I love putting salt and pepper shakers near my coffee station to put cinnamon or cinnamon sugar, whatever season is, or whatever seasoning is for the season um, at that time. So I purchased these really cute bunny salt and pepper shakers to put near my coffee bar and I really like the look of these. They are kind of, they're like stoneware, but they're not stark white, which I really appreciate. Um, they have those details of the browns and the tans in them, which I really like because it, it um, keeps it away from that stark white. But I really like the look of these guys. I think they're gonna look super cute near my coffee station. So we'll see what that looks like whenever we decorate together. Okay guys, now we're gonna go ahead and hit up Michael's. I was so pleased with all the Michael's finds that we found this year. And the first one of them being this really cute serving tray. I loved the bunny ears on top of this guy. I just thought it was so cute and elegant. And I'm going to be placing this near my KitchenAid on my counter in my kitchen. So I thought this was super cute, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I think it was, it was $20, but Michael's always always has de deals running so I think this one was 40% off so really liked this guy okay so while we're on the topic of serving platters and plates I went ahead and purchased this guy how cute is this I love putting linear plates on top of my exposed shelving that are located inside of my dining room slash living room so I thought this guy was really cute with all the bunnies and the florals and the carrots um, and I loved the artwork as well as the different shades of white and brown and the floral colors. So I loved this guy. And to go alongside of that platter, I purchased these coasters that have the same design um, as the serving tray. And I thought this would be really cool to one serve as a coaster in general, but to also, I have, a, I have multiple tile displays, like those little holders. They're kind of like picture frames, but they're a lot smaller. So I thought this would be really cool to um, act also as a decor on some shelving. So we'll see if we like that, but I just, I really liked the idea and it was, I thought it was a good idea. So we'll see, we'll see if it works. <laughs> Next, what I got from Michael's were these fun little napkin rings. This is what I was talking about earlier. These guys are so precious and cute. And I think with the World Market napkins, um, kind of looped through these. These would look so cute on top of those blue plates that we purchased from Target. So I'm really hoping that those work out, fingers crossed. But I think they will. The colors are just really beautiful and mesh well together. And I really like the ribbons that are also on, on these little napkin rings. I saw something similar to to these on PotteryBarn.com and I almost bought those, but then I saw these at um, Target and I think they're at Walmart as well. So I thought this was a really fun find, um, especially as a little dupe to Pottery Barn because that guy, that store can get pretty pricey. So these were only $2, but yeah, so cute. And then the last thing that I purchased from Michaels was this Huge bouquet of flowers. There are separate picks. I love putting picks. Actually, this one is from World Market. I'm seeing that now. And this was only, this was $8, but it comes with three different picks. So roughly about $3, maybe like $2.50 a pick. That's pretty solid, so I'll put that one over here. But these guys were all from Michaels, and I love these. Just how look how fun these are. And I have a vase that I bought from World Market that I really like and that these fit perfectly in, just to add that color. And I was not expecting to find these cute little carrot ones uh, at Michael's. So how fun is this? 
This little bunny, also from Michael's, surrounded by these carrots. Oh my goodness, isn't that just so precious? I thought it was really cute. And then separately, I got a little bushel of um, fake lavender, which I really like the color of lavender for the spring and the summertime. Um, so I was really happy that I could pick up some of these and some of these, and again, it was all on sale at Michael's. So they were probably roughly around maybe $2 a pick, which is pretty cheap decor if you already have um, kind of a, a propagation vessel. Um, speaking of, here's one I bought that I wasn't gonna include, but now that I was talking about it, um, this guy, I, I just bought this as regular decor, not necessarily for spring and summer, but you can put one of the picks that you bought and put it, put it in there and then it's just cute and then it sits on your table. So I was thinking about putting lavender in this guy and I got this from Target. This was a little bit more expensive um, most likely at $20, but regardless, it's that fun little rainbow, rainbow shape. So I was thinking about putting this on my coffee table and switching out the different type of picks that I buy from different stores or different stores. A couple of things left from Michael's, one of them being these wooden eggs that I talked about earlier. Um, Joey and I are going to paint these guys when it comes closer to Easter and display them on that little egg crate that we purchased from Target. But I love the look of these guys without paint on them. I think they're really elegant. Um, but yeah, I think it would be really fun to paint. It would be a fun craft. That's something, and it's just something tangible that we can put in a bin and have out every single season. So, or not every single season, but every single um, Easter season. Just very cute, I thought. Okay, next we're gonna stop in the TJ Maxx section of the world. I purchased quite a bit from TJ Maxx, so I can't wait to go over all of the fun things with you guys. But I wanna show you guys this first. This, look at this cute Easter basket. It has little rocket ships and it's space themed. For you guys that don't know, my boyfriend Joey, he does research. He is also in a doctorate program. He is getting his PhD in biomedical sciences, but he has done multiple, multiple, multiple internships with NASA. So he's he's a really big space nerd. So I thought this was really cute when I saw it so I can make him a cute little, not Valentine's Day, but Easter basket. Um, he already saw this and I was really hoping it would be a surprise, but I'm really hoping he just forgot about it and we can make a cute little display for him when Easter comes around. But how cute is this? So fun. So that was Joey's Easter basket. And then this is my Easter basket. So classic, clean and simple. Doesn't have rocket ships by any means, but I really like the look of this guy. This kind of basket weaving texture, um, I'm not necessarily the sure of the name of this exactly, but I have a lot of this stuff throughout my home. So I thought this would really tie in all of the decor that I already have in place and I really like it. So I was gonna display the Easter baskets, I think on my counter, especially when it does come closer to Easter and um, leave them out so the Easter bunny can stop by and leave us a few little goodies. So both of those were from TJ Maxx and then alongside of TJ Maxx, or also from TJ Maxx, I got this little bushel of carrots, so cute. Um, I think these were only $6. Yeah, $6.99 for a pack of three. This is one of the first things I bought. I really like the muted color of the carrots. I thought they were really cute. And I was thinking with the Target bunny that I got, you know, they would go really well together. So we'll see, we'll play with it, we'll play with it. Today's not the day we're playing. Today's the day we're just showcasing what we purchased. So maybe it won't even work, but for now we can just celebrate all of the purchases purchases that we uh, that we made um, but while we're on the topic of TJ Maxx I also purchased these little eggs so cute these are in sage and these are um, morning mm, Robin red Robin no that's a burger place <laughs> um, what is that Easter egg Robin Robin's blue blue Robin you guys will definitely correct me when, in the comments, but either way, blue and green. Um, and I really like the look of these uh, little speckled eggs. And I was thinking I can put them in a basket, not necessarily the baskets that I just showed you guys, but when Joey and I went thrifting the other day, we found, or I found this cute little basket. This was one thrift store, it was only about $5, or it was $5. 
and I thought this would look so cute to put these little eggs in. So we'll see what that looks like. I'm sure it will look wonderful, but I was really excited to find this, um, especially for only being $5 and it's, it was made in Portugal. Um, but yeah, really excited with this find, especially because I found it thrifting. Is it Red Robin or Red Robin? Rob Red Robin is a burger store. Robin, Robin. Okay, you guys, and the last thing that I wanna show you that I purchased for, well, that's a lie, Joey purchased for me for the spring season was this really cute book. It's, well, it's not a book, it's just for sticky notes. So when you open it, it's just, um, the notes, sticky tabs that you can use to be organized. And I loved the print of this. Joey and I go to Barnes & Noble almost every night during the weekdays. Um, we get some, he gets tea, I get hot chocolate, and we just roam. We just roam the store of Barnes and Noble because we love bookstores. We actually we actually met in a bookstore, so not Barnes and Noble, but one of the local ones we have here downtown. It was it was such a sweet time. If you guys want to hear that story, I'll tell it another time. But um, anyway, he purchased this little st sticky note pad for me that I was gonna put on my coffee coffee table because I just think it's so so pretty. The artwork is beautiful, but. I think that might be it other than what is behind me. So we'll quickly go over that. And I think that might be it. All right, you guys, last but certainly not least are all of the big things that were sitting behind me um, throughout this video. Everything other than Ollie. No offense to all. <laughs> Ollie P is my cat. He's been chilling um, with us the whole time. But this sign is so cute. I got it from World Market, it was $20 this carrot patch. I don't know what the bottom says because I can't read up there on farm stand. So precious. I love the font and I, I don't know, just something about these signs. I don't purchase a lot of signs that have words on them, but I really like the look of this and I thought I would put it near my bar cart. I have something similar, um, something that says like pumpkin patch that I use in the fall and I cannot wait to decorate for the fall with you guys um, because this will be the first time decorating with you guys for the fall and I have a lot of cool things fall in Halloween are one of my favorite things to decorate for. Um, so please subscribe to my channel so you guys can see that. So I'm really thrilled to we'll be doing that with you guys. But the very last things that I have to show you are kind of the color palettes of what I chose to continue on decorating or just the inspiration to the rest of my purchases. And I got these two sets, um, or this one set of two Calvin Klein pillows from TJ Maxx. I really like the color of them. They're just sage, sage stripes. Because for the spring, I'm kind of going for pastels and sages and colors like that. And then for the summertime, I'll go more with the classic yellow and blue. And then for the fun pillow that I decided to put on my couch this season was this really cute bunny. How fun is this? This was $16, but I could not pass up. This guy was just so cute um, and it's very soft. So I thought it would be such a cute layering moment to put the sage striped green pillows on top of my couch with this guy. Um, I'm really hoping it um, looks good together. I haven't, I haven't tested them out yet because I, I love saving that type of reaction when I decorate with you guys. But yeah, I think we have finally reached the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching till the very, very end. If you guys are interested in seeing me put all of this stuff together and decorating for the spring and Easter season, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss that. But regardless, that will be up in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be doing that when I'm on spring break for school. And I'm so excited just to get everything in place because it has just been collecting or just piling up in, in my dining room. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.